Hi there, and welcome to the Plug In Duo. My name is Christine. And I'm Julio. And this is just a quick video um, in response to a comment that we got from one of our viewers. So, you ready? Yep. We thought it would be easier to just record a video and explain the measurements of the second and third row for the Tesla Model Y7 seat. So, here we go. When we say 60-40 is, this is the 60 section, so the middle seat is attached right here to the seat that, that is right behind the driver's side, and then the passenger seat is by itself on its own tracks. So that's what I mean by 60-40. For the seat bottom, for the 60 split, so from here to here, uh, we have about uh, 30 and uh, about 30 and three quarters as a whole for the whole 60 part at its widest. And then from here is uh, 18 inches and three quarters wide. The center seat is uh, about 12 inches wide. Then the passenger side, it's about the same. Uh, it's actually exactly the same as the driver's side. And it's about 18 and three quarters. About the height, we are looking at about 30 and a half inches tall. And then the middle seat, it's about 24 and a half with the headrest down. You actually have a headrest that, that goes up. It doesn't just stay down. So for whatever reason, a lot of people don't know about this. And if you have it extended all the way up, it's about 30 and three quarters high uh, on the center. And if you want to put it back down, you press on that button and it goes back down. So the passenger side is exactly the same as the driver's side at 30 and a half inches tall. Another thing that for whatever reason, a lot of people don't know is the center seat. If you in case are not carrying five passengers, you actually have another cup holder uh, set right here. What I actually like is that is is very well hidden and very nicely integrated. So up next, we're going to show the third row. I'm going to press right here, pull it forward, have it tilt, put the seat up. We just fold it until it latches. And same thing for this one. Press this button up here, let it latch, let it go forward. Same thing. And then we push the seat in place. One thing to note is if you notice, see these indents from right here, from the, from the cup holders. It also leaves a little bit of indentations from the, from the seat belt buckles. One thing that I do want to mention is this right here, this cup holders for the third row, you have these two USB-C. So for the third row, it's kind of tricky. So that's why, especially that's why we wanted to do the video. It was a little bit tricky trying to explain uh, the measurements for the third row. So again, it's easier to just show you. So at its narrowest, at the third row, at the narrowest part, this is 15 inches wide from here to here. But the cool thing about the third row is you see this right here. This is also padded. So you actually have extra space. But as a whole, from side to side before the armrest, this is 43 and 3 eighths. So you have all of that space from here to here. But right here you have your armrest. So at its narrowest, at the armrest is 37 inches. But also remember that the cup holder right here in the middle, it is four and a half inches wide and it extends, let's see, best guess is about 10 and a half inches, but it kind of has a, uh, a very low profile. So you can actually, if you don't have your uh, cups here, you can actually sit over here and just extend it that much, that much more. For the third row, the back is actually um, 18 and 3 eighths wide. Same for this one. Let's see the height. Well, the height is about 22 inches high. But another interesting thing that a lot of people don't know is these actually have headrests that come up. So the whole seat goes from 22 inches high to about 28 and a half. It definitely gives you a very wide range of uh, passengers to go by here. Now, are you going to want to put full size grown adults back here? Probably not. Uh, maybe in a pinch. It's better suited for kids, but at least you know that you have the option. And when you're done, you just put them back down like nothing happened. But one last thing that I do want to show before we end this video, that something that is very, very interesting. 
check this out. So one more interesting tidbit is that, again, 60-40 split. But having said that, you guys see this? Just because the, the seat bottoms are attached doesn't mean that the seat backs are attached as well. So let's, let's see what I'm talking about. So let's set this back, set them in place, and check this out. You press right here, and ta-da! Okay, no, all I wanted to say was, as a person behind the camera, is it's a cool feature, but I don't really consider that a pass-through because you can't really walk through. If anything, it, it's, it maybe is like an armrest of some sort. But you know, I do find it useful because let's say that you have a long, skinny item, and instead of having it, if you have the roof rack, you know that's, that's an option. But let's say you have your passengers and you have something long to carry. Yes, I see that. So yes. what you could do is you have your passengers and you can still carry mm -hmm. your long item through here. You still have the space here for your long item. You go at Ikea. You know how those bed frames and all the mm -hmm. things are in skinny and long boxes. They can go all, all out through here. And yes, probably even pass by here and you still have your space for four people. So I do find it very useful. Uh, I mean, is it absolutely like a killer feature? Feature? Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. And I think also, well, if you have four people, four passengers back here, I think it's great. You have that opening because it's, yeah. it's kind of an open or a breezeway, if you, if you will. But one thing I'm not too big on, especially if you have kids sitting in the back seat, somebody could probably do some damage messing around, you know, or hopping around or whatever. So I would say maybe if you have, you know, teens, adults, but if you have kids, that's probably not the best Are thing. Are you talking about because of this? Yes oh yeah uh, well that's that's what i'm talking about. i'm thinking kids. i'm thinking of kids you know I, I know how kids can be you know when they're having fun in the car bouncing around so that's yeah what well I'm, no I'm car is going to be child proof I oh, mean, absolutely yeah but i mean i did i do see it as a pretty cool feature because no, a lot, like a lot of them because just because it's 60 40 and he moves mm -hmm. uh it, these two sides move together what's cool is that the bags are independent so that is pretty cool mm -hmm. and again if you don't need it there you go all right that is pretty much the end of this quick video uh hopefully we answered your questions and for any of you that were curious about the dimensions or even the headrest on the model y hopefully we were able to answer those well if you guys have any more questions, as always, reach out and uh, we will try to get an answer as quick as we can. Mm -hmm. I'm Julio. And I am Christine, and we will see you on the next one. Plug and do. Bye.